gripping leather. Never been better. I know they talking down. I talk I'm ready. I'm ready to, to do more stuff like this. I'm ready to be in front of people. I'm ready to let people know that I'm here. Look out for me. You know? Alright, so we're here at Soundcheck. I'm in the Street of uh, St. Croix Falls. San Antonio. Hey, what's going on, man? Shore Moses. Um, man, it's here in Austin. Melton, Texas, perform at Baylor University at a youth camp with my homie, BJ Promote. It's going down. He's Moses, he's from Dallas. I believe Texas makes some noise. I'm ready. I just feel very comfortable. I'm ready for you. Talking hard, it's all right, so let's make it the best. Can't you go down? Destination. Oh, snap. I know. Full size of the pizza. Hanging out before Moses' show. Now, I might have said his name wrong a minute ago, so I'm going to let you say your name. Yeah. Moses, you be here in the building, though. You been because I don't know who you are, and that's really strange. <laughs> yeah, no, I've been out here just working and just you know building. You know, I'm a just hip hop artist, born and raised out here. You know okay. what I'm saying? And uh, I've been everywhere. I've been everywhere. So you say born and raised out here. What school did you go to? I went to Berkner High School in Richardson. Oh, okay. Yeah, North Dallas area. I grew up mainly in North Dallas, like. Spent most of my life in North Dallas, really. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, so big things happening for you. You are yeah. uh, going to make your TV debut. Yes. Um, okay, I've actually never been to the CW33 studio before, and I've done like four segments to CW oh, because wow. they always show them. No, I'm glad you wanted to do it. I'm glad you wanted to do it. Yeah. What, uh, five, like, yeah. No, no it's like, like I'm like excited. Yeah. Yeah. I keep looking at the other Yeah. I'm just, I'm young, but I'm still young, man. Like, I'm still, I'm still just working, you know? Like, still, bottom level, still just trying to get seen, you know? So. Oh, we can, we can put you on TV. That's for sure. Hang your that's what that is. Oh. I know exactly what you're dealing with. Gotcha. There's a growth in the shoulder. Probably. It's bigger by the minute. <laughs> um, give me your name first and last. This gives me a sound check. Okay, okay. I apologize. Which song are you going to rap? Um, I mean, I guess I could. I mean, I guess I could rap the No. Okay. Well, then yeah. Because we have uh, we're already gonna have that one on TV, so let's do something else. Um. Do the one you did yesterday, Harvey. Okay, I can do that. Or are there any? Hey, what's going on? Uh, it's your boy Moses. I'm just hanging out here at the WFAA Studios. Um, really excited, man. I'm getting an opportunity to perform at Party on the Plaza. Um, met some interesting characters so far. Um, and when I say interesting, I mean literally. People over here stealing people's coffees. You got a bunch of um, very uh, flamboyant uh, individuals out here hanging out. But no, it's all good. We love everybody. And um, yeah, I'll be performing in a little bit. I perform at 6:20. So yeah, man, this is uh, it's exciting, man. I've never been able to do a major TV thing like this before. So so yeah, I'm excited.
therefore introduced to me what music and hip hop really is. So like, for me, it's like a dream come true. Like I'm really actually like here in the studio. I see the K104 sign, everything. <laughs> like this is a dream though. Like seriously, like cats like me, like coming from like the bottom, like get an opportunity to be here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People can't even say my name right. You know what I'm saying? It's all good though. <laughs> no, it's it all good though. No. But the thing is, is that you know what I'm saying? You're here. You made it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So we're so glad that yeah. we can, um, you know what I'm saying? Provide a platform for yeah, you. Yeah, no, it's a beautiful beautiful thing i'm so grateful i'm serious said you grew up um right here right. in north dallas right and i uh, went to school in richardson how right. did you get into the music well it kind of started with me just hanging out with like just a few friends that like were older than me that were really good at rapping and they were like the cool kids like all the girls liked them they dressed cool and i was kind of like the young younger guy hanging out with them uh -huh. and i just wanted to be like them you know and right. so as they got older they kind of quit doing it but i just grew a passion for it and kept going with it. So. Okay, so, um, you know, every artist needs a mentor, a big brother, uh, in their life. <laughs> and that guy right there is my big brother. <laughs> so, uh, his name is DJ Promote. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's so. up. So, I see here, like, you've done a lot, you've opened for, like, a lot of people. Paul Wall, right. Play a Circle, yes. a.k.a. 2 Chains. Yeah, 2 Chains, what up? Um, <laughs> Chingo Bling, Trey Songs. Right. What is it like to open up for artists like that? It's it's really interesting because it opens you to like a whole new world of like excellence because they're operating at like a whole new level. Like and there's a reason why they're at that level. There's a reason why a thousand, two thousand people showed up to see these people. And so I always learn a little something new when I get the opportunity to be in front of those guys and like open for them. So for me it was like a just a learning experience, soaking it up, learning how to make my live stage performances mm -hmm. on point and smash like really, really hard and learn to bring more people to my event. So when one day my name gets up in the lights and they see Moses UV, I can be able to really, I learn from those guys and then therefore it's opened up the door for me to like build my own thing. You know? You know, the one thing, too, you know, getting back to, you know, you're talking about, like, how the game works or how music works. I mean, of course, you know, like we said, it's kind of a, a spiritual thing. But at the same time, it's about, the main thing that I can tell you, it's about being um, consistent. Yeah. Being consistent. And, you know, once you kind of start something, you know, you continue that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Continue yeah. that path. Yeah. You know, and continue in a direction that feels right. Anything that's unnatural, you don't want to do. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Period. Yeah. But um, as long as you're like on a, a path where you're continuing to rise, even if it's just a little bit, yeah. it doesn't have to be this big breakthrough. It could be right. just little things right. yeah. that you see that are going right from, yeah. you know, this artwork looks really great to this yeah. song felt really good in the yeah. studio to, you know, um, Hey, you know we're in this we're in this space right now where we're performing, and the energy was really good. Right. As long as those things keep are, yeah, yeah, keep adding up, and yeah. they are good. Yeah. then you're on a good path. Yeah, yes. I mean, I think I heard that too from somebody that like this whole thing is like has a lot to do with a lot of small victories. It is. Like it's just like, and then one day you'll look back and be like, wow, like all that happened and lead in, like type deal, you know. I and mean, even in my situation, it's the same thing. Like. Like going on tours and like when it initially it started off me just rapping like at church or something or rapping mm -hmm. on the sidewalk, but now I'm able to go on tours and now I'm able to book my own tours and like it's just small little victories, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And it just helps to not, not look up too often. Yeah. Do not let uh, look up too often. I mean, I see you got a team here, you know yeah. what I'm saying, that's working for you. Yeah. That's what they do. They look up constantly. Mm -hmm. You, on the other hand, do not look up, you right. know what I'm saying? You keep your head down and you keep working. Right. And, you know, it's wonderful to have a team because, right. you know, they're in charge of doing every, you know, all those little minute things right. and, and, right. and organizing and stuff. And a lot of people don't have that. Sure. So you're very lucky to have no, that. that's a blessing. <laughs> that's a very, sure. yeah, very yeah, big blessing sure. because a lot of people are not able to be the artist. That's true. And that's what I stress to artists all the time. Be the artist. Right. Find you a good team, even if it's just a team that consists of one or two people. Right. And, you know, just make sure that they have your best interests at heart and let you be the artist. Right, yeah. It's, it's true, man, because, man, like, with, like I, when I'm studying these artists and looking at them, like, 
They don't handle their booking. They don't handle their PR work. They just they're just writing music and performing that music. Yeah, yeah you can't be creative. Your creativity cannot right. come out in a space that is um, that is very for lack of a better word, I'd say scheduled, yeah, you know, yeah, because yeah. that's what, you know, these guys do. They're very, you know, scheduled right. and this is happening this time and right. this, and, you know what I'm right. saying? They're very organized and scheduled. Whereas as an artist, you really can't create right. in a space like that. Right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Your yeah. space has to be everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it has everywhere. to be big that's and flowing true. and, that's you know what I'm saying? That's and if true. you have a space that is too, you know, too much of a straight and narrow, then right. it becomes hard. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I mean, yeah, like, because when I think, when you're saying that, it makes me think of, like, times where I've gotten song lyrics. I have song lyrics in the bathroom, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Or song lyrics, like, you know, just hanging out with some of my, one of my friends or something, and they say something that's inspiring or whatever. Right, right. Yeah. And you, and I mean, it's just, it just comes to you probably yeah. automatic. Yeah. Yeah. And live their passion and make money doing what they love. What advice would you give them? Um, I think the biggest thing, there's, there's three major things um, for any artist watching. One is make sure you tap in to the Christian faith and make sure you tap into a spiritual force. Make sure you believe like that God has given you the ability to uh, go forward in the, in the craft. That's one. Two, put some integrity behind your craft. Like make sure you're putting out the best music you possibly can do within your realm of reach. Like the best. So for rappers, a lot of rappers will just write one verse and be like, oh, I'm Gucci. No, 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 I need you to rewrite your verse three, four times. You hear me? When you hear my album, every single song went through a five-step process. Like, I rewrote songs time and time and time and time and time and time again. So make sure you're rewriting your songs. That's two. Number three is I need you to spend some bread. I need you to spend some money. If you ain't spending no money on your songs and on your art, it's not going to pop off for you. I don't care how cold you are. I don't care how talented you are. At the end of the day, you're going you're gonna to always hit this ceiling. You're going to always hit this ceiling until you say, you know what, I'm going to have to spend $1,000 on a music video because at the end of the day, I want to put out quality art with, with, with my sense of integrity into the craft. Like, you have to be able to spend bread to take it to the next level. So a lot of artists feel like they can just do whatever and they can just put out whatever and it's going to work because they have a good cadence or they have a good sound. Nowadays, it's, that's not the situation. You can't do it. Because now, now, at least as far as my genre, everybody's a rapper. Everybody's a rapper. My cousins are rappers. Uh, my auntie's a rapper. You hear me? Uh, everybody a rapper. You hear me? So it's like, what's going to set you apart is hard work and, 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 and spending your bread. So, yeah. so guys, there you hear it. <coughs> it's come from for sure. So we're talking about your brand new song. It's called Problems. And, you know, you're very, you know, seem very happy, yeah, you know, yeah, very yeah, laid back. What kind yeah. of problems, problems does Moses you have? I mean, it's like this. Um, I mean, we all go ups and downs and, and highs and lows. And with this particular song, it just paints the picture of, like, a time when I was broke. And I, like, needed to encourage myself when I was broke. I was like, yo, I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to make it out of this. And it paints the picture because there's a lot of people that was in my shoes that were artists, that were hungry. And we tr out here trying to get it, and we broke. Like, it's just the reality of it. So this right. song, like, kind of paints the picture of that struggle. Alrighty, well, let's get into it right now, man. New music. This is Moses Uver. The song yeah. is called Problem. What's up? And yeah, they like my swagger. They like the way I swing. I keep the game, they off the chain, and yeah, they always say. And it goes like this. Um, done a lot of international stuff besides, well, of course, going, going to Nigeria was my first international tour that I ever did mm -hmm. in my entire life, so that was like super mind blowing, major for me. And not only was it good on the music end, but I also got to see my family, I also got to see the oh, okay. I also got to see like what village I came from. I even saw the room I was conceived in. Oh, yeah. oh, I love it too, TMI. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. like, yes, son, this is where you can see that. You're like, okay. Okay, so right now we're uh, in the KK. We're on the way to Seven Decky to be a little bit. And um, I don't know, just take a look around, man. Them shoes right there are 4,000. No, these shoes are 4,000 Naira, and these shoes are 3,000 Naira. And these shoes are better. 
change their music policies uh-huh so then they were like all right we'll do an in-studio performance <clears throat> but then when we when we found out that they were like no we're going to change our music policies my publicist went and contact cbs and cbs was like we'll do we'll do whatever he wants we love it like yeah. whatever he wants we want and then she went back and told channel 8 and channel 8 was like crap what can we do <laughs> and then so we come to a conclusion that now what we're going to do is i'm going to shoot a music video 
and then they're going to play the video during daybreak. And for, for the Christmas song. For the Christmas song. Okay. And then on CBS, we'll start to think he's Count Chico. And he also produced work to your mother, if you didn't know. So, that's pretty much it. I mean, just the hallway. Video B. Like my vocals is catching and everything. Yeah. It doesn't sound too airy. Nope. Wow. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. So we're about to do a feature for TJ's uh, new EP. Uh, it's the name of the song. I think it's called Dallas is Bound to Rise. Uh, just Dallas. Yeah, Dallas is Bound to Rise. Dallas is Bound to Rise. You know. So I'm coming in first verse. I'm trying to keep it so Dallas, Texas on this verse. So hopefully I, I hold I hold it down and hopefully I give TJ's track some justice. So, here we go. Hey, we coming for the throne. Man, they know we in the zone. Dallas, Texas better stand up, cause the king is home. Man, we bring it way back. Twist it like a fitted cat. Spit it like I get it from the block. That's where I'm posted at. Home is where the haters and the haters see my sight. I take flights out the city and rose it to bigger heights. If TJ ain't make the beat, then you know it ain't right. I gave my life to the Christ and I got saved twice. Let the flow shake, let the floor shake, let the beat knock, let the floor shake, let the floor shake, let the floor shake, let the beat knock, let the floor shake. Swole. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we plexing, yeah, we straight plexing, uh -huh. ride around my city in my best friend's Lexus. Swear. Yeah, we plexing, yeah, we straight plexing, ride around Swear. my city in my best friend's Lexus. Let the floor shake, let the floor shake, let the beat knock, let the floor shake, let the floor shake, let the floor shake, let the beat knock, let the floor shake, let the floor shake, let the floor shake, let the beat knock, let the floor shake, let the floor shake, let the floor shake, let the beat knock. Let the floor shake. Now we on the grind, I let my bumper scrape. Always on time, even when I'm late. God cooked the meal, I'm trying to serve the plate. Even when I'm driving crooked, man, he kept me straight. Man, I keep it real, but they don't really see my passion. Even still, I love people, that's why I'm rapping. When I kneel, I still feel they want your boy crashing. But I'm looking at the devil and I'm steady laughing. <laughs> what they hidden for? I don't know, but I told your boy. Is that I'm gone. I'm gone, and when I do succeed, uh, it's not me though. Nah, nah. I keep it 100, yeah. no zero. Yeah. What's it do? Cause not, if we're gonna try something different, okay. Just gonna play back. Just press play. Yeah, just play. All right. Do you need to play it on speakers? No matter. Oh, okay. I'll play it on speakers. To make it through the night Can you be my greatest 
Oh, help me through the fight. I need peace and patience to make it through the okay. night. Okay, what, what were they saying? They said that Get Silly is very commercial. They said Night After Night is super funny in a good way. For real? Yeah, and they're like, they're cracking up. For real? They're rolling. <laughs> It was supposed to be funny, but like I show it to certain people and they be like, man, you're going too hard on girls, man. Like, it's supposed to be funny. Yeah. Like, that's how they took you. I'm talking about. Boy, like, man, that's what's up. All right. And then, um, I showed them, uh, looking mean and then, uh, I, uh, looking mean and they go, they go, they were like, they're like, that's good. And then I showed them looking mean and they're like, good too, but then. I said, if you were to pick out of all those, which one would be a radio uh, single? And they said, look at me. For real? Yeah. Even before Silly? Well, they said Silly sounds very commercial. Like, that could be like, played on, like, like, they're saying Kiss a Fam or, like, anything. Like, you find, like, you'll hear that on MTV before BBT. That's what they said. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Listen to so, the you showed him the album, or what did he say? This is what he told me. He was like, all right. He was like, I, first of all, he was like, I can't believe how easy you make like these songs. He's like, you make these songs, you make it seem so easy. Like the way you just put a song together, come up with a chorus. It just seems so effortless. That's what he said. But he felt like the direction is real scattered as far as what I'm saying to people. He was like, who are you talking to specifically on this whole album? I was like, I'm talking to two types of people. I said, man, I'm talking to people that are church and go to church and that are Christian and then people that don't because those are the two types of people that are messing with my music. So he's like, he said, you know, he said somebody like Lecrae, he said, they just zone in on one type of person and all these artists zone in on one type of person and uh, they make music for that one type of person. Like when Lecrae first started to make music for the church. Strictly. Now he like switched it up completely. You know what I'm saying? He's zoning in on a new type of person. Yeah. So he was like, he was like, it's kind of hard to figure out who you're talking to on the music. That's that's the only critic critique he said. Right there, what else did he say? About the beats, this nigga was loving the beats. Cause he, um Nate G he um Nate G showed him that when you did that uh Machonic uh what what you call it? The Mechonic one? What's the Machi Mariachi joint, the real Mexican one joint, the new one. Oh, the one, Speech Box? Yeah, the one he's trying to make a single or whatever. Yeah. He showed him that and he loved it. And he was just like, man, this fool TJ's like a genius. Like, he really loves the beats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he was telling me too, he gave me a, a dope idea for this beat. He was like, you should do like a build up in the chorus. Like, let the chorus build all the way up to the verse. Like, I forgot what he said. Something like, you know how on electronic music they have, like some kind of sound that helps build it up, you know what I'm saying? And then he said, when the verse hits, just let it drop, like boom, like let it be like the way it is, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? I don't know if I'm making any sense. Yeah, you making sense. So, but he was just suggesting that or whatever. Not a bad suggestion. It's crazy that you said because he told Nate the same thing. For real? For that squeeze box song. For real? Yeah. I think it's a not a phase. I don't want to say it's a phase. It's a, it's a fad. Those little four on the floor build up type stuff. Yeah. It's a fad. I mean, he's a, he's a DJ. He listens to a lot of like stuff that I guess you could say an average person wouldn't listen to. Right. So when he hears it, when he hears something, he's like, man. How do I DJ? Day. Like he he doesn't listen to it like. Oh man, we're making really dope songs. Yeah. He listens to it as if I play this song, what is going to be the reaction of people? Yeah. You know what I mean? That's an interesting ear to get a perspective on, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because he's in front of all kinds of people all the time. And if he listens to a song and says, oh, this song is going to work in front of all these people, yeah. then nine times out of ten, it's going to work.
Yeah. <laughs>